know, O'Neill C. Odyssey is one of the best programs I've ever been involved in. The ocean is alive and we've got to take care of it. Welcome to O'Neill Sea Odyssey. I'm Dan Hayfley, Executive Director. We're an ocean-going science and environment program for fourth through sixth grade students. We don't charge money for the program, but we do require each class perform a service project to benefit their community. O'Neill Sea Odyssey's mission is to provide a hands-on educational experience to encourage the protection and preservation of our living sea and communities. What follows here is a condensed version of our field trip on Monterey Bay, and we hope it is helpful to you and that you learn enough to want to protect the ocean that we all share. Now, let's get started. Hi, I'm Tim O'Neill. I'll be your captain today. Welcome aboard. Hi, I'm Laura Barnes. I'm the Education Coordinator of O'Neill Sea Odyssey, and today we're going to be learning about marine biology. Marine biology is a huge subject since most of the life on Earth lives in the ocean, so we're going to start at the beginning with plankton. Plankton is the bottom of the food chain in the ocean, and I'm going to be collecting some samples with the kids. Those samples will be brought back to our lab on land where we can look at them and identify what species of plankton we get in our sample today. Hi, my name is Jaden, and I would like to know what plankton is. Plankton is anything in the ocean that's a drifter or a bad swimmer, right? If it's an animal, it's a bad swimmer that gets pushed around by wind and pushed around by ocean currents. It's, if it's a plant, it's a plant with no roots that's not attached to anything that also gets pushed around by the water and the wind. So plankton are all drifters. They're drifting plants and animals. The lion's mane jellyfish, the biggest one that's ever found, had a bell that was 12 feet across, and its tentacles were as long as this boat about 65 feet long. That's plankton. It's a big animal, but it's a bad swimmer. Now, a lot of animals that are really, really tiny are also plankton because, you know, they're too weak to swim against the wind and currents. So there are two main types of plankton that we're going to talk about today, and that's plant plankton and animal plankton. Does anyone know the special scientific names for plant and animal plankton? They each have a special scientific name. So the special scientific name for plant plankton is phytoplankton. Everybody say phytoplankton. phytoplankton. Okay, phytoplankton means drifting plants that aren't attached to anything with no roots. More than half of the oxygen that we breathe comes from plants in the ocean, and they're giving off that oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis. They take in sunlight, and they give off oxygen. So plants are producers because they produce food from sunlight. We need that plankton and all the plants in the ocean to be healthy for us to survive. Okay, now let's talk about zooplankton. Everybody say zooplankton. Zooplankton. Zooplankton are drifting animals. How do animals get their energy to live? How do you get your energy to live? Yeah? Food, what'd you have for breakfast this morning? Pancakes. Well, you're a human, so you ate pancakes for breakfast, if you were plankton, if you were zooplankton, you'd be eating phytoplankton for breakfast, okay? So the phytoplankton gets eaten by the zooplankton. Zooplankton eats phytoplankton. They're consumers just like we are. Hi, I'm Abby. When I went to Hawaii with my family, the water was clear and blue. Here, why is it green and cloudy? What's the first thing you notice about the water here? Green. It's green. Very good scientific observation. You really can't see the bottom here. Ever come to the boardwalk and gone swimming with your family? Yeah. And what's the temperature of the water feel like when you get in? Oh. It's freezing here, and we're going to look at the temperature gauge, but it's usually between 53 and 58. So the water here is cold all year round. We have green, cloudy water because there's so much plankton here. And what color are plants? Green. green. You're looking down through a layer of billions and billions of phytoplankton. And where do you think phytoplankton would want to live if they need sunlight? The surface. At the top. Very good. 
Okay, so they want to live at the top to get all the sun they can, and the zooplankton kind of lives at the top too because they want to eat the phytoplankton. Can they well, they kind of, they photosynthesize. So they take in sunlight and they take in carbon dioxide, which is what we breathe out, and they give off oxygen. So they breathe, but a different way than we breathe, right? The same way trees breathe. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So they're kind of like trees? Yeah, they're exactly like trees. They're plants. Most plankton like cold water, especially the phytoplankton. And if there's a lot of phytoplankton, that means there's a lot of food for the zooplankton. If we could see through the water here, we would see a lot more life than we'd see even when we're snorkeling in Hawaii. Plankton likes cold water, and when you go to places where the ocean's warm and tropical, there's a lot less life there because there's a lot less plankton. Hi, I'm Jaden, and I want to know how do you catch plankton? Are you guys ready to catch some plankton? I want you to crawl to the edge and hold on to the railing, and then we're going to walk to the back of the boat where our plankton net is. So the holes in this net are about as big around as one of your hairs. So it keeps the plankton inside and the water can get out. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of water with a whole lot of plankton in it. You're going to drop this down a little at a time. See how I'm letting it kind of slide through my fingers? You got to do it together because it gets heavy. You're going to be my sample taker. What's your name? When I bring the net over, you're gonna stick your arm out over the net, and I'm gonna pour the plankton in there, okay? Here it comes. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna do the very end part because what I'm gonna do is rinse the plankton into the bucket. All right, you see it? See the little teeny white things and there's a couple little green things in there? There's a ton of plankton in there. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put them under a microscope and we're gonna look at them in detail and see what type of plankton we've got. Hi, I'm Kimberly. What does plankton look like? This is my compound microscope right here and it has many lenses that make up one really, really strong lens. And this is my low power dissection microscope right there. And so we're gonna use the low power microscope first. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom of your sample and I'm gonna get a few drops of water from the very bottom and I'm gonna put them on my slide. But I also wanna get a few drops from the very top because sometimes there's other types of plankton at the top. And then the rest is gonna go into this Petri dish. We're gonna look at the Petri dish first under low power. So this is our low power microscope. So you can see that there are a lot of things swimming around in here. Are they zooplankton? Or They're zooplankton, right? Let's look under the compound microscope here. Look at this guy right here. So we've got some cool stuff. This is a copepod. Copepods, they have one eye so they can see the sun. They can see where the light is and they're going to kind of pop up towards the sunlight in order to eat all these phytoplankton. So let's see what else we've got. These are lots and lots of, oh, look at that. See that thing with, there's its head. That black thing is a pointer in the lens. And see that thing with the long tail right there? It's yeah. flickering around. That's a larvation. That's another holoplankton. So it's gonna be plankton its whole life. And it's related to fish. Its tail is covered with like oceanic mucus, like ocean boogers kind of and when it flicks its tail phytoplankton will stick to its tail and then it eats out of its own snot right that's a larvation they're kind of the most disgusting plankton that we find oh look at that see the little um yeah. greenish yellow stuff in the middle yeah. that's the chlorophyll that's the part of the plant that makes sunlight into energy hi my name is angel i want to know how much plankton is in the ocean you see how many plankton are just in seven drops of water Imagine how many plankton are in the whole ocean. You could never even count it, right? There's, so, there's just billions and billions of plankton out there, so they could just kind of continually eat all the time, filtering the water for plankton, and there's enough to keep them you know, healthy and happy out there. To learn more about our program, please go to O'NeillSeaOdyssey.org. That's O'NeillSeaOdyssey.org. This virtual O'Neill Sea Odyssey field trip is made possible by the Community Foundation for Monterey County, Team O'Neill and O'Neill Yacht Charters, and Joyce Anderson Productions. Thank you.